Watch how your kids grow up to be just like you. That's the best part. My son thinks he's a comedian. That's really not funny. <laughs> when he was in elementary school, we had a problem. He was making people laugh, but he didn't know when to stop. He was getting in trouble. He always thought he was on, on stage the whole time. One time he came home from school, they said, hey, how was school? He said, good crowd, good crowd. <laughs> I said, don't get smart with me. He said, whoa, don't worry. I don't want to confuse you. <laughs> I know. He even does impressions. First day of school, true story. First day of school, the teacher said, so young man, what's your name? And he went, well, what's it to you, lady? <laughs> teacher gave me a call. Mr. Rizzo, we have a problem. Your son thinks he's Jack Nicholson. And I'm like, what the hell you want me to do? <laughs> He has a word of advice. Don't get on his nerves. <laughs> so you're laughing. If you ever wanted to know what Nicholson sounded like as a little kid, all you would have to do is just talk to my son. And if you would have talked to him when he was younger, you would have said, oh my God, that's a perfect Jack Nicholson. That's what Nicholson would sound like as a little kid. And years ago, I was asked to do some voiceover work for a Jack Nicholson movie that was aired on TV. Now, voiceover work means they take the movie version and they want to put it on network television. And in order to do that, they have to cut the profanity out. So they do that, but then they get someone who can do the voice and fill it in with a regular word. You've seen it. It looks stupid. You know the person's cursing, but... They flub in this word. And it was good money. So for two weeks, I'm practicing my Jack Nicholson. I'm walking around the house and I'm walking the dogs like Jack and I'm cleaning the garage like Jack. And my son decides he's going to get into the act. And he started doing the same thing I'm doing. As a matter of fact, he's knocking on my door every morning for two weeks going, doo, doo, doo. hey, Jack, you want to go out and have some breakfast? <laughs> And, you know, and it got to the point where the whole family was getting annoyed, except for he and I. I just thought it was adorable. Until the day I took him out for his birthday. And the waitress comes by and gives him an ice cream, his dessert, and a spoon that was huge. It was a huge spoon. My son is checking this spoon out. I know he's going to say something. I just don't know when it's going to be and what it's going to be. So as the waitress is walking away, she goes, can I get anybody anything else? Without missing a beat, my son goes... Yo, lady, why don't you just give me a damn shovel? <laughs> Did you ever reprimand a kid as you're reprimanding him? You're telling him it's not funny as you're laughing at the same time? Because you know what he did was wrong, but the comedian part of me is going, that's ingenious, man. That's really funny. I love this kid. 